Okay, I'm starting the 75 hard challenge. There's five rules to this. Follow a diet, no cheating, no alcohol, two 45 minute workouts a day, one has to be outside, take a progress picture, drink one gallon of water, which is four liters, which seems like a crazy amount, and read 10 pages of a book every single day. It has to be nonfiction, motivational, sort of to help change your life. And there's my little checklist. And then the day before, we ended up going out on a hike to our local trails. I finally got out there and did that. It was really nice. Even though my workout hadn't started yet, I really wanted to do this as a family. But yeah, so this is basically the start of my fitness challenge. And I hope you enjoy watching my journey. So this is just going to be like a little introduction of what I've done this first week. Go, baby. Oh no, shit, it's easier with her like on my back now. Okay, I'm doing it. Out for my very first official workout. I did go for a nice little hike yesterday with the family, but this is day one. And I'm motivated, but also extremely nervous. But I've got my watch going, it's gonna track where I walk, it's gonna track my steps, although it's not really tracking. Because like when I'm holding onto the pram, when I hold onto the pram, it's not really registering my steps, but that's all right. As long as I'm doing my workout and walking for 45 minutes outside. Um, other days I'll do runs, and other days I'll just do weights and stuff outside. But one of the workouts is outside, so today we're going for a nice a big walk to just ease into it. So let's see what day one holds. That kind of sucks because I love going on this treetop walk. You can look down over the playground and this huge giant parklands, but clearly they have a lot of works going on at this park at the moment. So it's a little bit disappointing, but just go back down that giant hill that I just came up. <laughs> this is a really nice place to go for a walk. They have so many large grassed areas. So during the weekends, you can come out and play like a volleyball, cricket, have barbecues in this park it's a really really nice place to go and they do also have like a little playground and a little like type water bucket area for the kids um, so it's really really nice to come out here it's not probably looking the best after all the floods but and they do have a lot of construction work going on but it is a nice park there's some pumpkin seeds that I've just been snacking on sorry about the video quality here um, I clearly filmed the wrong way but that was one of the books that I'm starting to read and it was very late at night and I was extremely tired. And also the same video quality here, but this is tuna and some cooked spinach with a little bit of cream cheese on a wrap. That is some of the sort of lunches I've been having. Then I went on this walk. Um, this is actually on the way to my ch kid's school. This is a consistently steep hill going upwards and down the very bottom which is behind me is extremely steep so this is a really really good workout I decided to do every morning when I drop the kids off and little Miss Andy is sleeping <laughs> now if there's anything that I am grateful for right now just just being outside someone is mowing their lawns I love the smell of freshly cut lawns just the fresh air so I'm walking up this like incline right now, so it's a bit of a workout, but I'm just feeling really grateful right now and loving this blue sky, loving this green grass and loving this fresh air. <laughs> so I bought this bottle from Kmart, so it's got little reminders on the side and it also tells you how many litres is on the other side. So this is 2000 litres, I need to drink two of these and this bottle is huge but it's definitely been <laughs> a really great bottle to have and it's what I drink from every single day. So this is kind of like my workout area at the moment. It's not the best, but that's where Andy plays generally when I'm working out or she'll crawl on the other side of the room. But I've just got the stability board, this little band that I use to um, for resistance. Um, I need to find the rest of my weights and the little thing that holds that on there, but I am being careful and lifting that. Then I've got my medicine ball over here. I've just got my booty band type things here. So yeah, um, this is just, yeah, basically 
<laughs> what I do when I do my inside workouts. I need to get a bit more weights and I need to find the ones that I've got in the shed. But yeah, this is basically where I work out every day. That's my view. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, where I'm at right now. So it's only week one and I've got a little bit to go. Obviously, there's 75 days. It's a couple months, but I'm feeling really positive. And you say hello. Okay, so we are on day five of this challenge. Um, I'm feeling really good. Like the things that I thought I would struggle with, like working out, I'm not really struggling with so hard because I am going into it a little bit easier just for the first week or two because my body's just not used to it. I had a child not too long ago. <laughs> so I'm just easing into the first bit of the workouts, but I'm definitely pushing myself further than I thought I would. And drinking the water is hard, but it isn't at the same time. Like you get thirsty, so you drink more water. But sometimes I definitely have to remind myself to drink that water. But I'm feeling good. Whether like I obviously haven't lost weight yet. It's only been five days. I've probably gained I've actually gained weight because I'm drinking so much water. <laughs> but I'm feeling really, really good. Like it's giving me just that little bit more energy, but I do get I fall asleep easier. And I'm feeling just a bit more positive about life at the moment. <laughs> hey, Mitzi. Mm, it helps with you around there, doesn't it? But, yeah, I highly recommend this. Like, I have thyroid issues. I have, like, so many things telling me, you're not going to lose weight. You're fatigued all the time. All these issues. But I'm not listening to that. And I am working out. And, <laughs> and I'm going to, yeah make a change and be a lot healthier for this. So yeah, this is the first week and I will continually let you know. I'm not going to tell you how much I weigh or show you my like body per se. Um, maybe at the end when I feel a bit more proud about where I'm at after I've lost the weight. But for now, this is, yeah, this is my journey and I'm eating a bit better. Like as you saw, I had a tuna wrap. I've been munching on pumpkin seeds. Um, otherwise I have like chicken and lemon with some avocado or fish with some like veggies on the side but yeah chia seed or oh, chia pudding has been like my breakfast or um i'll have like scrambled egg or something but i've been eating a lot better dinner unfortunately is still pretty much the same because i'm feeding everyone in the house it's hard to just do your own separate meal um where i can i'll do different meats and stuff like that but because you're obviously feeding your family it's really hard to you know do your own dinner <laughs> so yeah a little miss learn how to clap recently <laughs> but yeah so I hope you follow along my journey and I hope it motivates you to start yours I'm only five days in if you want to start now start with me we can check in with each other I'm definitely keen on that but yeah, get up, get moving, and, you know, you will start to feel better straight away. And I know this, like, I, I lost a lot of weight just before I had Andy, and then every time I get pregnant, I just gain a lot of weight. But I definitely am feeling a bit more positive again. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. You say bye. Can you say bye? No, you clap your hands. <laughs> okay, good job.